Yeah. This is a police message. Stay indoors. Do not leave your house unless it's for essential travel only. You may only leave your house once a day. You may only exercise once a day. You will only leave your house to get essential shopping, to pick up a prescription, or to exercise once a day. Stay indoors. Welcome back guys to another GTA 5 LSPDFR patrol on the PC and today we're playing as the Metropolitan Police Territorial Support Group. So we're going to be making sure that people are staying indoors, we're going to be enforcing the uh, quarantine and making sure that people are keeping a social distance in between each other. So you won't see much pets on the uh, street in this patrol, you'll only see a few cars because people are trying to stay indoors, staying at home, you know the deal. If you want the van, you can download it from GTA 5 mods, this is the van that I worked on a few... Uh, a few weeks ago and it's available public release we've got a potential breach of the curfew right around the corner actually so I'm gonna head there right now and we're gonna be uh, checking what's happening apparently someone's been reporting a person for breaking the curfew so we head there now make your mind up okay stand by we're gonna be checking the area now Investigating the area to see if there's anyone that's causing a disturbance or they might be uh, breaking the curfew, the quarantine. So obviously if they get close to each other then they pose a risk to other people because of the virus and that type of thing. Let's see what's happening around here. Alright, I'm keeping my eyes peeled guys. You never know what's going to be happening on these streets. So yeah, as you were well saying, you're watching the uh, LSPDFR patrol we're playing during the uh, quarantine. And we're enforcing the quarantine as the Metropolitan Police. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this uh, video. There doesn't seem to be anything that's happening there. So it could be a uh, prank call, but we're not sure yet. We're going to go keep in this area anyway, because uh, my suspicions are that there might be some people crowding together. Let's turn the lights off as well. Let's get another call on the radio. Needed. An ambulance call requesting escort on uh, okay. Occupation Avenue. Alright, we'll escort this. Someone apparently is uh, transporting a patient with the virus. There's a vehicle that just drove ahead of me at like a tremendous speed, but we've got to focus on this at the moment. They want an escort. The ambulance wants a police escort, and they're transporting a patient with the virus. So we're going to go give them an escort right now. All right, guys. Stand by, we've got the patient inside the vehicle. Okay, we're gonna be escorting the ambulance to the near medical center. We're gonna be uh, treating them for the uh, virus. All right, you're gonna follow me. Okay, so guys, we've got a uh, patient inside there, inside the ambulance. We've got a uh, patient with the virus. It's very contagious, hazardous uh, situations. So we need to make sure this ambulance is protected and that no one basically ambushes the ambulance. I don't know why they want to ambush the ambulance, but you never know. There's some crazy people out there, so you gotta keep, got to keep careful. Okay, I'm going to let the ambulance take over now. I'm going to go drive behind it. Oh, you're going the wrong way. Come on, guys. What's happening here? Okay, I'm going to get him to directly follow me because it doesn't seem like he wants to drive on his own. He wants me to take him up the route, so we're going to get my police van to... Uh... Come on, where is the ambulance, man? Come on, ambulance. What is going on there? And why is my van extremely slow in reverse? I do not know. Oh, the world speed is slowed down, man. What the hell? How did that slow... How is my game slowing down? I have no idea. 
Everything's in slow motion right now. I'm not, I'm not liking this at all, actually. Okay, what is the ambulance doing? Oi, ambulance. Wanker. Wake up. I'm trying to escort you guys. And just stay in there like that. What the hell? Crazy. I'm going to go manually move the ambulance myself because it seems like the ambulance drivers, they never learn. Alright, ambulance, follow me. Do not go into me. Come on now. We know you're an ambulance. We know you're bad at driving in GTA 5, but yeah. What the hell is he doing? He's going up the wrong way. Okay, I'm going to go stay in close proximity of the ambulance because we do not want him. That's a bit of cheek. Do you see it says, we are losing sight of you. Slow down. Um, yeah, you guys decided to drive off without me. Follow me, wankers. Turn around here. I said, follow me. Damn it. You got an IQ of 10. It's very difficult to drive. I understand that, but just follow the big blue van. You cannot miss it. I really hope the ambulance doesn't go into the uh, cones and get into that gutter there. Oh, he didn't. Okay, that's good. Let me get... If you're going to follow me, let me get through. Oh, my gosh. The amount of grief these ambulance drivers cause is insane. Okay, so guys, this is the first time I've done this call out. What the hell? How am I supposed to move this guy? Oh, this, this is why you should use menu mod in your video, guys, because you all know this is how uh, stuff goes down. Got the ambulance finally following me! Finally! Don't you dare go into me. Don't you dare bump into me. Keep a distance from me. I will find you. He's got, a, um, he's got a patient inside the back with the virus. Oh, come on! What are you trying to do? You're trying to T-pack me or something. But yeah, he's got a uh, patient inside there with the virus. And we're going to be escorting them to the hospital where they'll be uh, treating them. It's a bit like HMS Nightingale. Okay, we're at the hospital now. We're at the NHS hospital. Got a lunatic ambulance driver there as well. Come on! You're really pissing me off now. <laughs> Gosh, what is that ambulance doing? Come on. The Met Police unit. Okay, thanks to the escort. Gosh, yeah, you should have thanked me, guys. Should have freaking thanked me. Oi, driver. How is your IQ doing? You got an IQ of one or something? Idiot driver. Yeah, the patient is in the back of the ambulance. We're going to get a hazmat team to uh, escort them to the hospital. As you can see, the hospital's locked and only staff, only trained staff can get inside there. And... Uh, Put patients inside the hospital. We can go back on patrol as uh, the territorial support group. So we escorted the ambulance uh, that carried the patient with the uh, virus to the uh, hospital, which is quite rewarding. But now it seems that my colleague, Officer Noodledick, is struggling to get inside the back of my van. He's warped inside the van. That's good. Got to thank Ultimate Backup, always having my back. Warped the uh, AI back into my vehicle. All right, let's see what else is on the menu. It's like a buffet of calls. Uh, settings, police radio. Citizens report. Robbery, nope. A211 at, uh, Vinewood 24 7 market. Okay, we've got a homeless person that's splitting germs. Oh, that sounds a bit rude, actually. We've got a uh, person. Homeless person apparently has a virus and they're breaking the quarantine and they're spreading the virus to other people. They're claiming that they have the virus. We have reports to the uh, radio that there's a homeless person that claims to have the virus and they're sneezing at people on purpose and trying to uh, scare the local uh, population. So we're going to head there immediately and try to disperse them. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any masks in this game, which is quite annoying. I'm not using EUP at the moment, so there's no way to actually put masks on your character. But let's wait for these guys. Let me through. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Let the traffic cops pick that mess up. Let's get to this quarantine violation. Fiesta, get out of the way. 
Okay, so we're on the meat of the video now. We're going to be uh, getting people to stay indoors. We'll drive around this neighborhood and tell people to stay indoors as well. After we've moved this homeless guy on as well. Okay, so what's happening here? We've got a homeless person that's apparently causing a bit of a muck at this petrol station for the looks of it. This is a police message. This is a police message. Will you please disperse the area? Stay indoors. Okay, um, stand by. We're going to be talking to this um, person to move along. Alright, so what's happening here? Road drive? I want you to leave the area. Can you leave? You just settle down here. Yeah, I want you to leave because people are coming to this petrol station and uh, they need to refuel their vehicles, buy convenience, nice type of thing. And you're staying here and you're posing a risk by spreading the virus around. So I'd like you to move on. Can you move on, please? Dismiss the pet on foot. Alright, thank you very much, sir. Crap. He's only trying to beg for a bit of money, but yeah, the TSG are right up his ass right now. We've got all these police officers on scene. And make sure this guy moves off the premises, because if he stays in the gas station, then when the customers come, he could be spreading the virus. We're not going to test him just yet, because there's not enough testing kits in this area, but uh going to make sure that he leaves this uh, premises. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Hopefully you won't see us again. I was going to speak to the shop owner now. So I'm going to take some statements. Alright mate, let's have a look at you. Um, let's have a chat. I want you to have a chat with me at the back here. I need to me. The premises. No, you're not telling me to vacate the premises. I'm a police officer. Got a job here. So I'm going to go talk to this guy. Okay, so I want to see why he called 999 because that was a bit extreme. So the guy, he's a shopkeeper here, he's telling me that uh, the homeless guy basically was uh, out there and he was sneezing, coughing at people. Homeless guy claims that he didn't do anything like that at all. Um, shopkeeper just wants more premises. I want to know why he called 999, because that was not a 999 call. So uh, I'm going to give this guy a warning. I'm going to give you a warning, mate. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take your details down too, and do not call the police unless it's an emergency. Do not call the police like that unless it's an emergency again, so please don't do that again. Alright, that's good. Got ID, you're gonna log his uh, name down as well. Alright, so yeah, guy called 999 for a homeless person that was breaching the quarantine. In my opinion, that was quite extreme. Wasn't too pleased with that. So, uh, we took a statement from him and we're giving him a warning. Just let him know not to waste the police time next time because we could have just driven there casually, but this guy was. He made out that the guy was sneezing, coughing, and everything, and he had no evidence. So, yeah. You all know what happens. I think we're going to do a bit of um, we're going to do a bit of broadcasting now, guys. If you're lo you're looking forward to this bit, we're going to be broadcasting our messages to the houses and telling residents to stay indoors. So, let's go. This is a police message. Stay indoors. Do not leave your house unless it's for essential travel only. You may only leave your house once a day. You may only exercise once a day. You may only leave your house to get essential shopping, to pick up a prescription, or to exercise once a day. Stay indoors. The NHS is counting on you. Okay. We broadcasted that to that street, and as you can see, they're listening to us. They're staying inside the house, so seems pretty well. Pretty well decent, to be fair. Attention residents, stay indoors. You may only leave your house once a day to collect essential prescription, to exercise, or to collect essential shopping may not meet your neighbours, may not meet with the groups of other people. 
They only leave your house for essential reasons. Thank you for your cooperation. Okay, so we we broadcasted the uh, message to the neighborhood, which is a uh, pretty decent. So far, the speakers in this van, you can't really see them like in the older vans, but they're there, and they're quite loud as well, so people heard them. We go back to patrolling now. Let's see if we've got some more calls in this area, actually. I have to keep on requesting calls, because there doesn't seem to be the stuff that happens otherwise. So we'll see if there's anything that we can actually do... can actually do as a TSG unit. Drunk and disorderly. Okay, this is interesting. Oh! It says disregard, but there's a person that looks quite drunk on the street. Okay, stand by. We've got a uh, possible male. Seems to be in intoxicated on Nicola Avenue. Park my van here. Territorial support group are here. Hi, right, sir. What are you doing outside then? Without a mask or any protective equipment? Seems a bit drunk. I'm going to chat with you. Okay, I want you to uh, leave this area and stay indoors. I'm going to sterilize this breathalyzer and give it to him. Okay, officer needs like you do it. Go breathalyze this guy. Sterilize breathalyzer as well because you don't know if he has a virus or not. I'm going to test him for the virus right now. We got we got a testing kit. Got an alcohol kit. He hasn't got the virus from the looks of it. He seems okay. All right. I'm gonna get a taxi for this guy because uh, he seems quite drunk and it doesn't seem like he's getting home anytime soon. Taxi's here, fella. Stay safe, all right? And stay off the streets. Got a car alarm in the background. We're gonna go investigate that now because it sounds a bit dodgy, so. Okay, the alarm's off. But usually in GTA when there's a car alarm. Whoa! Taxi driver! Look what hit my colleague like that. Come on guys, inside the van. Where's my extra what is this guy doing here? What is this guy doing? Go on, get inside the van. If I get inside the van and get out of it, maybe he'll get back in. Yeah, he will. That's good. Come on. In you go. Nice one. Oh, whoa! Who told you you to get out of the van? Oh, you idiot. Your IQ of, like, zero or something. That's right. Okay. Shut the door, will ya? Okay, so uh, back to our patrol, it looks like. All units, we have a vehicle on fire on Possible disturbance, freeway. interesting. Alright, let's head to this disturbance. I really hope it's not a prank, because... I'm really looking forward to seeing these disturbances. Keep our eyes peeled. Might be the construction area over here. Looks like a cul-de-sac we drove through in the last patrol, but it seems like one without any houses, so this construction site seems to be still here. There is a white blip on the map, so I believe there is something happening there. We did get reports of someone that's breaching the uh, social distance in, so we'll go check it out now. Alright, where's the white blip? What's happening here? Let's park aside and let this car go here. Roger that. Okay... It's a bit ironic, isn't it? We're enforcing social distancing and the police officers themselves are not following the routine. But then again, we have been, we've been tested at the station frequently, so... There's no need to, like, worry about that type of thing. Attention residents, this is the police message. Stay indoors. We only leave once. We only exercise once a day. Leave your house for essentials, such as a prescription or essential shopping. We are not leave with any more than two people from your household. Stay indoors. Okay, 
broadcasted ourselves to that street as well because I thought I might as well do that. All right. So far, so good, guys. Hope you've been enjoying this video so far. It's been quite a calm one today because there's not as much traffic on the road, but... Uh, Robbery! Okay, this is cool. We got a robbery, someone's fleeing on foot. Finally some action. Robbery, you know the deal guys. And this time it's not hand sanitizer or anything like that. It's- Oh, come on! You couldn't have had a worse driver on the road than that taxi. Literally just went right into me, what a twat. But yeah, as I was saying, it's not Hannah Sanitizer or anything like that today. Today, This is proper shopping stuff. This guy's actually we've got a shoplifter, apparently. And it's priority call. Apparently, they armed with a weapon as well. So we're going to head there as TSG as quick as possible. Yeah, caller reports that they've just got a weapon, a melee weapon of some sort, so we're going to exercise caution and get our tasers out when we're on scene. Okay, stand by. We're now on scene. So what's happening here? Where is the situation that we're just person's been robbing seems to be they're robbing up this uh this restaurant over here from the looks of it looks like this restaurant has been robbed oh no it's not a restaurant it's a guy it's a person that's been robbed all right this is a job for a robbery squad but you know what's happening here mate you're injured describe the uh it's some gang banger what am i saying gang banger he was in grove street colors weapon Friend him. Alright, buddy. I'm gonna go search for the suspect. We'll get him now. We'll stay with you as well. And take a ride in my vehicle, actually. I need one of these guys to, uh. One of these, uh, officers to not. Actually, no. What the hell? What am I talking about? Okay, we'll stay in the area. We'll look for the suspect. He's dressed in, uh. Was it Grove family? clothing or something, ballers clip I can't remember, I wasn't reading the text properly, I was still trying to see if there's any anyone there in the area that was looking like the person he was describing. In fact, there was a guy with a green shirt, wasn't there, when we came into this, uh, this restaurant around this area, there was a guy with a green shirt. Could be anywhere now, but uh, we'll go check anyway. Okay. And we'll get it back uh, in our van. What I really want to do, to be fair, and this is what the police sometimes do as well, is they let the suspect ride in their van with them and uh, see if they can spot the suspect. Well, it's not the suspect we're talking about. Let the victim ride in their van with them and see if they can spot the suspect. But I'm not sure if we can do that in this game because I did try to go to this guy and uh, I could actually use a stop the ped menu, couldn't I? Yeah, that's a shout. See if I can get him to follow me. Uh... Follow me, mate. Alright, so one of the officers is going to stay here. And this guy's going to ride with us. The victim's going to ride with us in the van. We're going to see if we can identify. Alright, mate. Get inside the van. We'll give a bit of a drive around the block. Let's open the door for him. In you go, mate. This ain't so we're going to watch through that window there. And one of my partners is going to stay on scene. And the other two partners are going to come with me. So we've got the victim inside our van. We're going to be searching for the potential suspect. As you can see, the victim's sitting there in the van. Someone shut the door. Come on. Oh, come on. Someone shut the bloody door. Idiots. Right, let's go drive around this area, see if we can find the suspect. This is what the real police do, by the way, guys. 
because I mean uh, one of my friends got robbed and basically the police let him uh, ride inside their van it was a van a bit like this one actually but it wasn't Met Police but uh, you, they let him ride inside his van and um, see if they, they drove around town looking for this person with that description because apparently this guy's been robbed at knife point so it's fairly ser serious let's get outside here okay so he robbed at knife point with a uh, guy with a baller's like gang shirt so we need to be careful we don't want to get involved with the gangs But apparently he was wearing a green shirt from the looks of it. Green or purple, any of those two. Let's check this parking lot. There exists a yellow blip on the map, which I'm quite curious to see what it is. So um, it might be the robber, actually. So I'll go drive there. Might enter this building as well. There's not much pedestrians on the street, so it should be fairly easy to find this guy. Well, we're checking, we're searching the perimeter right now. Nope, doesn't seem like we found him. Unfortunately. Sorry, buddy. You're out of luck. Sorry, mate. Come on, get out of the vehicle. Come on, mate. Get out of the, get out of the truck. Yeah, sorry about that, mate. Couldn't find him. We had to look around the area. We couldn't find anyone with a description... So we'll just have to give you some advice to stay safe and uh, if you want to give some more information you're welcome to come down the police station with us and give some more reports. He's saying he's alright, he says that he's just a little bit shooken up. Okay, yeah, so um, best bet is we're going to go you, you go talk to the managers inside that last train in Los Santos Dunno and uh, see that CCTV camera over there. This one here, oh, my hat's blocking it. Yeah, the CCTV has got evidence on him apparently so he's going to go... Uh, file a police report, we're going to give him a crime reference number and then we're going to send him on his way and um, the CCTV will be uh, sent to us and we'll be uh, tracking down the robber in the description. Alright, so just stay safe out there. Um, I'll call you a taxi actually. But yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. It was quite different to what we usually do. It was a curfew and quarantine uh, patrol. So uh, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Stay safe out there and uh, stay tuned for some more content. Let this guy go, get a taxi for him, and we'll be on our way. So, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Guy's getting back to his taxi, he's safe. I will see you guys in another video. Until then, stay tuned.